Well, 10 out of ODU's 12 games this year decided by a touchdown or less. Their 13th this afternoon, no different, but it was probably the strangest and most heartbreaking path to get there out of them all. Brian Smith with the story. looking to finish up their 2023 season on a high note against Western Kentucky in the famous Toastery Bowl. First quarter, Grant Wilson, the 79-yard quarterback keeper, and he's off to the races. Problem was he needed a little more. Winds up tripping himself up, gets tackled inside the 10. That was okay because it sets up Wilson's one-yard toss to Isaiah Page for a 7-0 lead. Still in the first, Monarchs driving. Kadarius Callaway, five yards to the left side, and it's a 14-0 advantage over the Hilltoppers. But wait, there's more. The defense coming through, too. Chris Kane with the pick, and he's not done. Going the other way, 30 yards. It's now a 21-0 lead over Western Kentucky. Second quarter, they weren't done. Wilson with the 11-yard keeper for a score. It's now 28-zip. They were up 28-7 at the break. The Hilltoppers did narrow the margin to 28-14, but ODU extended that lead in the third quarter. Wilson scrambling and getting free and in from 21 yards. It's now a 35-14 lead. However, ODU squandered that lead and Western Kentucky took advantage, got within a possession and with 19 seconds left in regulation Caden Velkamp, the third string quarterback, finds KD Hutchinson from 15 yards. We're tied at 35, headed to overtime. Their Old Dominion still with a chance to win, but Ethan Sanchez gets his field goal blocked. That opened the door for Western Kentucky, and they delivered. ODU going from great joy to great pain. They fall in overtime, 38 to 35. A lot of guys are heartbroken, obviously. You know, um, it's tough playing your last football game for some of those seniors. It's, uh, it's a horrible experience. I'm, I'm heartbroken, so I can't imagine what those guys are going through. Just got to put an arm around those guys and uh, keep them close. I was just, you know, happy how close the team had gotten over the over the course of the season and um, I'm a big family guy so that, that means a lot to me. I've got to find a way to help us uh, come out on the right side of more of those one score games. I mean, that's, that's, that's the bottom line. That's my job. Old Dominion couldn't overcome Western Kentucky's 24 unanswered points in the fourth quarter and because of that they finished their season with a 6-7 and seven record. Brian Smith, 13 Sports, Charlotte, North Carolina.